Chances are you'll be either hosting or attending some sort of cookout this holiday weekend. Americans love their barbecue grills, but scientists warn that cooking meat on the grill can create harmful carcinogenic compounds. Here with some tips on how to make your holiday cookout safer and healthier is nutritionist and author Monica Reinagel. Nice to see you on this holiday weekend. Good morning, Lisa. Thanks for coming in. All right, so really, what is the deal? I mean, we, we've been hearing this for the last few years. What are they saying? Well, this is one of the reasons that they think that meat consumption might be linked to higher cancer rates is mm. because of the way we cook it. Yeah. But the good news is there are some really easy steps that you can okay. take that vastly diminish this risk right, for you. So do? the uh, first thing you want to do, one of the ways that these compounds form is when meat or poultry or mm -hmm. fish, it's not just red meat, mm -hmm. comes into direct contact with a really hot surface. And of course, the temperature in our grills is going to get a lot hotter than right. in the oven or on the cook right. stove. Right. So one important thing is to keep the grill from getting too hot. Now with gas, it's a little easier to control, but with charcoal, right. if you're grilling for a lot of people this weekend, you might be tempted to light up a mountain of charcoal. Mm -hmm. Now instead, what you want to do is build a moderate-sized fire and add a handful of fresh briquettes every 30 minutes mm -hmm. and you can keep that fire going as long as you need it but at a nice steady moderate heat and that's going to keep the temperatures okay. from getting out of control. Okay. Another factor here is flare-ups. When fat from the meat drips down onto mm -hmm. hot coals or mm -hmm. burners and flares up, right. uh, the smoke that's produced by those flare-ups contains carcinogens and mm -hmm. they get deposited on the meat. So another tip here is you want to minimize the flare-ups. Okay best way to do that is use indirect cooking methods. Mm -hmm. And that's where you pile all the charcoal on one side right. of the grill or around the edges and then cook on the other side or in the middle. Right. And that way when the fat drips down, mm -hmm. it's not hitting the okay. coals. And you can adjust the burners on your gas to accomplish the same thing. Using leaner cuts of meat is also going to reduce flare-ups. Right. Uh, so pork tenderloin, mm -hmm. flank steak, mm -hmm. leaner ground beef mm -hmm. for your burgers. And keep a mister handy by the grill. And if right. you do have a flare-up, move the meat off the grill right mm -hmm. away and you know, get that flare-up under control. Okay. Then you can resume. Right. Um, another really effective way to cut down on these compounds is to partially pre-cook the meat before you put it on the mm. grill. You could do this in your microwave. Right. You could put the burgers in there for a couple of minutes a pound mm -hmm. or a chicken, about four or five minutes a pound. Then finish it on the grill with your barbecue sauce. You get that great flavor. Mm -hmm. Also keeps the chicken a lot moister. All right, and you've got some. Yeah, then my last tip is probably my favorite tip, and that is to marinate your meat. You can use a pre-made marinade or a mix, or mm. make your own from scratch. But marinating meat for about 30 minutes before you put it on the right. grill cuts down on those compounds by up to 90 percent, and it's also a great way to tenderize those lean right. to, those leaner cuts of meat. Okay, but what about the aunts and uncles that come over and say, I want that cook. And I like it to have ch the char. char yeah, a little bit of charring is fine. Uh, and, and that's why if you pre-cook the meat and marinate it, you can get that little char without incinerating mm -hmm. your meat. So, mm -hmm. so it's okay to have 